Hello? Hey Google, how's the weather? Alexa, how are you doing? Hey Google, I have a problem. My dog Blanche is misbehaving. Alexa, dog behavior problems are the worst. Hey Google, how'd you get your dog Blarch to be so well behaved? Alexa, a good veterinarian. You should try Dr. Mallory practice. I've actually got her card right here. Hey Google, thanks. Alexa, set 15 minute timer. Am I in the right place? This looks like a house. You're just used to that Western medicine. So, do you practice Eastern medicine? I practice medicine with no direction at all. What's the problem? It's my dog, Blanche. She has a bad attitude. Oh, I thought his name was Blarch. No, that's my friend's dog. Oh, you must be Alexa. Alexa, turn off all the lights. No, don't actually turn off all the lights, Alexa. It's an expression. Let me see your dog, Blarch. Blanche. Gesundheit. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, I see. I don't like to break this news to you. Bad news? I didn't say it was bad. How do you know if news I don't like to break is bad or good? Well, usually if it were good. <laughs> Such a northern medicine way of thinking. Oh, so, so it's good? No, it's very bad. Oh, your dog Blarch has dementia. Dementia? Not dementia, dementia. What's dementia? I am baffled. It's a little like dementia. Oh, but instead of losing his mind. Her, right. Instead of losing his her, your dog's brain is an interdimensional portal. An interdimensional portal? An interdimensional portal! Well, where does it lead? To other dimensions. What's in the other dimensions? I don't know! I don't know, but we can take a look. Here, let's look at these brain scans of Larch. I took these scans of your dog's brain. You did not take any scans. Those are human brains. Common error. You confused human and dog brains? No, you've confused them. Look at his brain. And why are we on the ground? It makes it easier to show the dogs. See this dark spot here? No, I really don't. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. This dark spot is an interdimensional portal. I just don't think that dogs can get interdimensional portals in their brains. There you go again with your Southern medicine conventional thinking. Okay then. So how do you close an interdimensional portal in a dog's brain? It's a little bit complicated. First, you have to find the dimension where Jod lives. Jod? You know, the Almighty. God? It's pronounced Jod. Well, why is it spelled with a G? Because the guy who created Jod decided it should be pronounced that way, and now I'm pretty much stuck with it. I'm gonna stick with Guy. Okay, but it makes Jod angry when you do that. Sodom and Jamora, it's because they pronounced it. Todd can probably hear you whispering. Actually, he's a little hard of hearing. You have to shirt Jod into saying his name backwards. Like Mr. Mixias Spitlick? No, no, no. 100% legally distinct from the way you kill Mr. Mixias Spitlick. Mm. So wait, if God says his name backwards, he dies? Yeah. God, dog. Ah. It only works if Jod says it, and if he pronounces it correctly. Okay, I guess let's go look for God. You don't sound very committed. I'm still baffled. Just turn the wheel to view the other dimension. Should I be worried? The fate of the world lies in your hands, but otherwise, no. The world. Yeah, whenever a dog gets dementia, there's a small risk of the universe imploding on itself. Do you want to control this? I'd rather blame you when something goes wrong. Hi, I'm Jod from the creator of Clippy. We found God. No, that's just Jod, J-O-D, the juxtapositional orienting dimension. Just click the button to make him go away. It looks like you're trying to write a letter to Jod. Would you like help? How do I make him go away? Are you sure you want me to go away? Yes, go. 
Okay, I'm going to go away. But before I do, I just want to check and make sure that you really want me to go away. Yes, go away. Now. Okay, going away. Good. Thank you. Go. <gasps> You're not really going away, are you? Do I have to? Yes, leave. Fine. Really annoying. Most dimensions are really annoying. Tell me about it. Okay. Is this supposed to be God? Your grandfather was actually a Muppet. No. And what about this vaccine? Why are Americans being discouraged from asking simple, straightforward questions about this it? This cannot be God. No! Why? Dr. Jenkins wants the juice. What's he doing with the juice? I agree with that one, but it's not job. Transformus Danitus DeVitus. Ha! I turned Danny DeVito into a pillow. This work, it's so mundane. <laughs> We're never gonna find God at this rate. What dimension are we looking at We're now? We're looking at now, now. Jeez, you're ugly. You wouldn't be so ugly if you ate me. I'm delicious. P.S. F*** you. So you see, the ancient text actually reads cock, paper, scissoring. <laughs> now it's off to sleep with your little baby. To ralura lura God is two people? Apparently. I'm so befuddled by this body part that has a portal to another reality. Why is God befuddled? God works in mysterious ways. What does that mean? I don't know. It's just a platitude. Nobody knows what it means. I just dribbled unflavored LaCroix all over my face. I cannot believe that happens to God, too. I can't believe Jod still watches movies in 480p. Just look at that DVD collection. I know the band Fugazi. Chad, always name dropping. Get them to say the name backwards. How can we trick God? Aren't they omniscient? Don't bring it up. But I'm not a pie eater. You've got to trick them. How do you feel about animal genitals? <laughs> this is a kid's movie. I don't think it's hard to see dog dicks by Blanche and humans. See, it was God. I told you that's how you pronounce it. <laughs>